out on cbradiomagazine.com we're going to do a quick overview on how to check your SWR using a Radio Shack SWR power meter. Um, we get a lot of questions from people new to the hobby and they're not quite sure on how to use their SWR meters. So we're going to give a quick overview on this one. It should apply to a lot of them uh, that are similar. So basically let's get to it. The Radio Shack power meter we have in front of us, um, the only switch that you'll really need to worry about in terms of checking SWR with it uh, is the middle switch. The left hand switch and the right hand switch are for measuring power uh, output on the meter. We're just concerned with checking SWR. What we'll do is you'll set your radio to channel 1 to start with um, and then you also will check it on 40 and on 20. You want to make sure that you have a fairly uh, good SWR across the band if you're going to be talking on all the different channels. What you want to do is put the switch in the calibrate position where it says CAL you want to key the radio with, without any mic gain. Um, you want to make sure your mic gain is turned all the way down. Once we key the radio, we're going to adjust the calibration knob. And on the right hand side of the meter, there is some small writing that says CAL in the window right here. Basically, you want to set the needle until it's right at the edge on the calibration mark. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the SWR uh, switch and you can flip it down and the needle should drop and show you what your SWR is. Our SWR in this case is showing at one point, uh, just under 1.2. So once again, we want to set the calibration, pointing at the calibration point, hit the SWR switch, and there you go. It's that simple. Now we can go to channel 40, and we can check there. You want to recalibrate. It's going to be slightly different on some of the channels depending on the type of radio you have. We were just slightly off there. Check the SWR on channel 40 and as you can see the needles drop much lower. We have a uh, just under a 1.1 on channel 40. Um, anything under a 1.5 is excellent and you know shouldn't matter unless you're going to be running any amounts of power. The larger amount of power that you're running the more um, important it is to have a low SWR.